Hey YouTube, ID4 can here, and today we're gonna walk through with OBD11 with my car. Uh, I will make a separate video of what you can see with this thing, but in this video I'm going to show you what kind of software version we have in this car. Uh, currently the only way uh, to see what kind of software you have is the infotainment. The only software you can see currently is the infotainment and as you know uh, and as you saw my infotainment uh, software version is 0783. That doesn't mean that the car has, uh, doesn't mean that that is the only software this car is dependent on. This car is running on 20, 30 different kind of hardware with uh, in, on his own his own software uh, and with this thing you can keep track of the uh, coming updates um, and maybe as you know update 2.1 2.2.1 is coming so it's also for me interesting to keep track of the updates that's coming uh, over the air uh, I'll won't be uh, the uh, I'll won't only be uh, the infotainment update but maybe it's some drivetrain or your brakes or even your uh, massage software can be changed so shall we start good i'm going to plug this in my obd and then it's uh, uh one moment then i'm picking my phone and there it is obd and then it's a uh, if you're connected just press connect choose your obd11 and it's a really really long wait and of course start your car in ignition like you heard my dash cam and uh, it doesn't need to be in drive or something like that just start your car push push the pedal and keep it on uh, your feet on the pedal so it breaks let's say so it doesn't shut down uh, as you can see it takes really really long to connect uh, for me it will always ask for the type of the car so long it takes but after that it's fine as you can see now you say continue then it says which car currently if you select id4 i can connect or i can connect and it doesn't give me all the information so what you do, press ID3, then it will connect, same as the ID4, but I can see more things, uh, or at least see the things I want to see. It's strange, but whatever, it, it's working currently with the ID3. It's the same car after all. So how long are we are talking? We are currently doing this for two minutes, something like that. And yeah. So we connected with ID3. Uh, let's press the hamburger menu. These are all the control units. The car speaks with the cameras. And we can see, uh, let's say uh, the engine and then uh, you can see the information of the car let's say the system the hardware number the version the software number and the software version uh, but of course you have more information like uh, let's say uh, a driver and you can find that's a driver you can find the driver request torque or let's say acceleration acceleration you can see the acceleration of this car in meter second quadrat quadrat quadrant don't know what's in english or even uh, let's say engine or speed i think speed current speed of the electric motor so how many rounds it does every minute very interesting and it goes go on and on and on for every every single uh, control unit but uh, I will just show you 
uh, the software version I have with the hardware uh, and it's for me as a basis for future references so I have a, a basis of this cars how this came from the factory and how it will be updated in the common uh, weeks months years etc so we can keep track of the uh, development of this car which is interesting interesting for you but also for me so shall we start uh, and I will just put a uh, music under and fast forward uh, accelerated so enjoy That was it. That were all the software and hardware versions currently on my car with uh, infotainment multimedia version 0783, which is ME 2.0, 2.1, which enables uh, over the air updates uh, for, let's say, driver uh, related, driving related systems uh, is coming. Uh, I would say this coming month somewhere I will receive the update if I go to the dealer so and then I'm interested what are the differences uh, between now and uh, after the update so what is going to change hopefully it's not just a number but we will receive more internal uh, updates so thanks for watching I uh, hope you uh, understand uh, why I am doing this. It's a start for a long, long, uh, yeah, historic view of this car. At least how you're updating, etc. So, thanks for watching, and then I will see you again in my next video. Bye bye!